I have here a Sony TCD D3 digital audio tape Walkman from 1990. I've recently received this and this is my first ever DAT device and finally I am now a DAT man. This unit is faulty and won't eject and has a warning on screen. Armed with the service manual, we're taking this apart and getting into that early 90s electronic feel. Plus my favourite part, seeing the mechanism close up. Okay, I've got the service manual which is going to be very helpful for disassembly and repair. Okay, first is disassembly. Normally you disassemble the unit by ejecting and taking out these two screws, but we can't eject. So we're going to refer to 1 to 10 of 3-2 mainboard and slide the claw to release the lid. And then we'll get to find out what it's like inside. So let's do that. Okay, there are the internals. Okay, and we've got some ribbons. And I'll be, this is the test point for, we solder those two together and we get test mode on the unit. And that'll give us a lot more of an error code than just caution and then we then it can tell us exactly what's going on now we want to get to the claw so the claw is under here somewhere so we're gonna have to loosen some of these wires That's coming apart. We can now see the ribbon cable in there. And so we'll disconnect that one too. And that's out. Aha. Uh -huh. well, that certainly helps. Okay. So I can see the claw. Time to release. Now, according to the instructions, I have to pull it towards me. Ah, there's no tape inside, but the unit's now open. So what I'm going to do is take the lid off now and put the mainboard back in. With this top lid off, I can access I can access the claw from the top if if it gets stuck down. So I see in the service manual, Sony have extender cables. Which, which means you can take the main board out and run the whole unit. But we're not going to do that. So with it together. Caution. Okay, so it doesn't want to load the tape around the drum. Can we eject? Not really. It's saying it thinks it's already open. All right. Okay, we've got some fixing to do there. Continue the top disassembly process.
Uh, still flashing caution. So we'll just power cycle. Caution. Okay, so it doesn't want to load the tape around the drum. Can we eject? Not really. I think it's time to activate test mode. There is test mode active. We can already see we've got error code 11, which in the service manual is the unloading is not completed. Okay, I'm gonna get further into this mechanism. Looks like the heads could use some cleaning. And currently the mechanism is in loaded position. That's interesting because it wasn't loaded before. Okay, I'm going to continue with disassembly. Hey, where did that one go? There it is. Okay. Okay, I've got the unit very open now. I've taken the sides off. And I've lifted the main board up. And we can see the capstan motor is here. You can see the coils are just on this PCB. And I think this, I think this is a problem. Okay, so knowing that we're going to have to replace some of these parts, it's time to get some. So, I have here a donor unit, and this one is in pretty bad condition. You can see the LCD has melted or burnt or something, and it's pretty old. But I've had a look inside. Now it does power up. So I reckon we've got good motors in this thing. The heads don't spin. The head, like I can't even spin that, that is jammed shut. That's not moving. But underneath we've got good motors, so I'm actually going to use parts from this despite its condition and the head's not moving and the total completely dirty junky inside that this thing is this means I can also do a full tear down have a look at all the parts okay I've got this thing stripped now this main board still works so I'm going to look after it just in case and we're going to take this one apart a little bit more completely than the other unit so front panel so this goes to the LCD front panel and then we've got wires to the main board so all the controls for the front and the LCD go through these wires interesting it's incredibly useful having two units here to compare them the gears on this one don't want to move as freely as the crappy old damaged dirty unit which seem to they flow pretty well you can see the load and unload mechanism moves pretty easily. This one gear moves really slowly. It doesn't really want to move terribly well. The mechanism in the cleaner unit is a different revision. So we have this area here. And if we look at this, the damaged unit, we see it's not there. So to proceed, 
I'm going to go further into this which I want to see inside this mechanism anyway so this is going to be pretty good hmm. so that comes out pretty easily so we can see the alternating light and dark pattern on the real drives here and the optical detectors that use those to see the position. So I just checked the better unit and when I gently lifted this gear away that one felt fine and this one was stuck on the other unit so that's the culprit so I gotta work out how I'm gonna loosen that one okay I've got some isopropyl alcohol here and I've been putting it on onto the spindles and just moving the gears and it's definitely starting to turn a lot easier now that's certainly feeling a lot better it's really starting to spin now I am going to put a little bit of silicon grease okay with a bit of silicon grease in there time to put the capstan motor back in okay so we're back together and testing and we power up still in test mode and unit not happy we have an error too which is the control motor encoder and number two is the unload position cannot be detected so we're going to have to play around with these gears so that they're in the right position I believe so uh, the modes can be switched the mechanism is now mode selecting again so I can check the mechanism and see the loading and unloading so it's currently running a display test in test mode which uh, is kind of fun to see and I've got a tape here which came out of the bad unit and I've taken off the tape covers so I can watch the mechanism closely alright I'll take it out of test by going to zero okay tape in load play only one VU meter running on this tape okay so in test mode it plays and goes backwards in normal mode it does ah right tape's broken okay Okay, we'll have a look in test mode without a tape loaded. Play. Forward. 
this. Stop, rewind, forward, eject, stop, eject. Okay, I'm going to put this together for now. I now have a working Sony digital audio tape Borgman. I've checked recording from an analog source and playback sounds great. As you saw, the mechanism is quite delicate. I'll be looking after this. In the future, I'll be looking at the DAT format a little further and testing the digital audio in and out on this device. That's it for now.